Hello, welcome, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever, wherever you're from. This is Team Fortress TV. I'm Turbo Tabs. Joining me tonight is Twiggy, the suave Frenchman, and we've also got the lovable John on camera tonight. And tonight he is cameraing the high playoffs. This is the grand final, Twiggy. How are you feeling? Hello, I feel quite good, especially since we have a French team tonight playing, and of course I'm gonna be completely biased in my cast and support them. Yeah, represent. And on the other side of it, we've actually got a, an, uh, well, it's kind of a mix, mix match. It's more like a, a pick a mix of players all across the countries of Europe, but uh, still, it's something. Tell me about this French team, Twiggy. Yes, uh, so it's top 5 Rocket against Hello Kitty Ninja in in blue. And yeah, the, the top 5 Rocket is actually a squad that plays together for at least at least 3 to 4 seasons, but um, most importantly, very good friends, always mixing together, going to French lands together. So they have definitely the this kind of chemistry you can expect for, uh, from a very good team. Whereas on the other hand, the Hello Kitty Ninja can count on the, on the Polish part of the squad to to be impressive and deliver the and deliver the good frags. It well, looks like we are going live. Yeah, with no time for it. Uh, our other opponent tonight is Hello Kitty Ninjas. They've been like around the scene for a long time now. They've been shuffling players here and there, but uh, details about it later. If you are just tuning in, this is the high playoffs. This is TurboTabs, Twiggy, John on the camera, and we're launching straight into it. Grand finals, Twiggy. I'm very hyped. What's going on in the middle right now? Uh, top 5 rocket opts to go on their slope, there's some one soldier to try to put pressure on Hildreth, but Hildreth is still unprotected and raining down spam, forcing the top 5 rocket to go out uh, as soon as they lost their roaming soldier Neo and their scout Blizzo. And it looks like top 5 rocket wants to contest this on shock, they can't steal the, uh, because they retain their demo man. But Fishcap is, is actually trying to initiate, he gets smashed by the by a very good play by Schnuff, hiding and staying behind his medic to protect him. I know it's a 6 on 5 with equal ubers, so I wouldn't be surprised if top 5 tried an aggressive move like a soldier bomb or an uber trade. Well, uh, they're going for that uber trade immediately. They just uh, launch in uh, the pocket immediately from the house area right now. They forced out that uber and now they're just quickly trying to back out from that choke area as quick as possible. Luckily enough, they haven't lost any players whatsoever. They have launched the soldier in from the choke area trying to make something happen, but all he does is a mere you know, two piece damage and doesn't really get much done. Now it's yeah. just gone back to the stalemate. Yeah, very good position by, by Hello Kitty Ninja after this DC charge. They did not scatter the style all on, on the train to protect their medic, and as a result, Neo couldn't find any room to engage. And it, look, it looks like we're gonna recycle Ubers, so usually it's up to Hello Kitty Ninja in this position since they have the middle to try to do something, but since Bonkers, who is playing Roma, is using the black box. Uh, I thought he would try uh, uh, for a straight uh, med pick with the black box, of course you have only yeah. 3 rockets, so we might just try to bait out uh, a soldier or a scout and then play it from there. It's very interesting that he's still using that black box, so recently in the, the gun metal update it was he uh, nerfed very heavily. And uh, oh, but now we see, we see block, uh, Bonkers jumping straight yeah. in with the black box anyway. He has only got three rockets to work yeah. with, and by the time he actually did use those three rockets, it, it was just n nothing to fire off of that. Uh, medic, lucky, but he did. I think yeah, he, he got did, lucky uh, enough to reload, uh, to even reload one rocket, which uh, which was very surprising. But yeah, the black yeah. box uh, still takes very time, bad yeah. to, to do this kind of stuff. Yeah, the Uber is actually forced by good spam, it looks like. Yeah, if, uh, they forced out the Uber from blue, uh, they've actually uh, taken out a few players on top of that well, but you do see the Uber forced out for uh, top 5 rocket as they actually do uh, put, you know, just push across mid. They've got the mid uh, points sorted now, and they just push on to the second. They have got a player advantage with uh, Fishkov actually going down. He will take some time to come back to I don't into know the fight, but they're not giving this up without said fight. I uh, didn't see Bonkers in the forward respawn, though. Uh, Bonkers has a clean, clean opportunity to go for Ombrak. Ombrak is down to 100 health. Oh, he manages to surf it. Well played by Ombrak right there. And it's uh, now a 4 on 4 situation with the Spire going for the red squad. Yeah, so uh, now it is kind of a scary situation now. Uh, for Hello Kitty Ninjas, you could have all sorts of uh, back hacks or back hacks and back caps. <laughs> Excuse me, back uh, shenanigans. Yeah, uh, the scariest kind the... of back cap, the back hack. But we missed the most important part, I guess, like, which was Conthorn going down. 
bring all this mayhem on Spire, which gives Ombrak a full a fully bad advantage to work with as Coton is only up to 30%. The Pyro engineered defense is the choice for, for Hello Kitty Ninja. The Pyro is actually working quite well, he's still not dying. Yeah, and he's barely Look taking any damage, but in saying that now he has finally gone down to Sticky, but he's completely nullified that Uber and he's actually uh, swung the advantage over to Hello Kitty Ninjas now. They've actually got a nice little pick onto the peck, uh, pocket, I believe that's Medico on top five. And now they're looking to make the push out, even probably build up that Uber before they even fathom pushing yeah. out, you know, just for that little safety net. Yeah, top five rocket are not taking any risks on this fixture whatsoever. As soon as they lost medical, they just went back to balcony and then from Stonebridge. Of course, they know that uh, that Hello Kitty Ninja will try to make a play. Uh, there is nobody saying on last for Hello Kitty Ninja. Uh, two scouts, no engineer, so the backup threat could be very, very real. But Uber is triggered early, there is lots of cap time on Spire and everyone from top 5 rocket is back on mid, but they actually got forced. This could oh, they've actually, yeah, they popped the Uber and they're actually looking to maybe defend, but uh, in that weird. greed now, they've actually capped off the point and now they're just seeing maybe they could bait off uh, top 5 rocket onto the point and kind of re-defend it. Let's see if yeah. they decide to regroup themselves. No, they're just backing out immediately, they have no confidence defending the Spire, especially with the two players down. Indeed, indeed, it was very, it was a very odd pop by by Ombrak. I think his players were were under pressure, and the, in this in this situation, it's quite a tough call to make. Like, should I commit my uber charge to save my players if I'm not if I'm not in danger? And, it, and they, they took the they took the gamble and it paid off because they got two frags. So yeah, back to square one. Loki Ninja are very cautious, so they just don't want to give up this first run that easily to top five rocket. And what a round of it. Oh, actually, what has happened there is that they've Ubered from the lower uh, top top five rocket, but uh, during all that, Hello Kitty Ninja's actually Ubered in from the top. Now it's just been a mishmash of all these plans going wrong. Uh, one t uh, team dealing with an Uber while the other team is dealing with one in the o opposite direction. You do see, uh, actually, Hello Kitty Ninja's from just the defender's advantage winning this out ever so slowly, but good God, is it like a tiny margin to win. You've actually got uh, Schmurf here even like sizing up this bottom left-hand corner, maybe tempted to go for the back cap, but they don't dare with Hildreth still being alive, keeping that point yeah. safe. I like this choice by Top 5 Rocket to take the, the high-risk, high-reward approach because like they got, they got all but one wiped, and, and still, uh, and still uh, Hello Kitty Ninja can't push because the Ahmed died too. And the spawners plus the sniper threat on Badlands is very real. So, so yeah, it was it was basically a free try, a free trial to get the round. Didn't pay off, but they're still in the very same spot they were just before. You see, Aston Sniper, he's peeking. He wants that medic uh, pick. You can see him just kind of like teasing him uh, with that like long Uber ray. Uber Ray, Medic Ray, whatever we call that little Ray thing. He's just trying to pick him off. He actually does settle for a scout in the end. Maybe cheekily going off for a double scout. Oh, the Medic shows himself for half a second there, but he doesn't quite get it. The Ubers have been exchanged. He switched back to scout now. It's just both teams just kind of rubbing against each other. Hildreth does pick up uh, a player for his troubles oh, now. Don't. That is. He's actually pushing off aggressive Hildreth now. He's actually picked off, uh, he's caught off the Derriman in this lobby. He's helped out by Pablo. It does take him out eventually. Now, we'll see it, what sort of defense top 5 Rocket can do on this fire. Yeah, but Cawthon died in this, in this good play, in this good play by, by Kazo right there. Uh, so it salvages the, the situation for top 5 Rocket. And once again, they find themselves with a clear, with a clear shot at, at um, converting this last push. Let's see if, the, if Ast uh, is gonna play Pyro once again. Uh, Ombrak is hitting 70% and the sentry gun is real for Pablo once again. But Ast did go down there. He, get, he didn't get the memo from his team and he pushed out by himself into five top five, play, uh, top five Rocket players and immediately got minced. Uh, but you don't see... Uh, top 5 Rocket immediately take it out, they just they really want this Uber to push in and it doesn't matter even if uh, Ast going down, he does get taken out immediately because they did decide to Uber in the scout first, uh, you actually see nice. there you go, Top 5 Rocket yeah. do play the point, the scout trying to bait out those uh, stickies Hildreth forced to pop his stickies just to make sure the scout couldn't cap that point and uh, the soldier just picks up the slack from that uh, scout there yeah, and the sentry gun was dealt with uh, and Pablo swapped to scout so the top, uh, the top left uh, was not very well held by Hello Kitty Ninja and top 5 Rocket are opting to go slope once again. Yeah, we see some early aggression coming out from Medico, uh, kind of trying to keep Hello Kitty Ninja somewhat in that house and 
with all that presence on the mid, they've just completely made work of Hello Kitty ninjas, just allowing to like sync up uh, that fire on the correct people. Focus down the right targets, you know. Yep. Very basic TF2 right there, <laughs> but it works. And Bonkers uh, once again baiting his team with the black box. To sure he got Ombrak, but then there was two points. And pushing out our flask will they take the risk? I think they should take it. Uh, if they pick just a little bit, they would see that there is no sniper for top five rocket. And top five rocket are respecting the Uber advantage a lot. They are not attempting to go for a back cap just yet. They are just building on choke. Uh, clever little sticky trap to get the scouts inspired by Keizo on the on the mid uh, on the mid level thingy. And yeah, Hello Kitty Ninja are just forward holding at the moment. No, they are yeah. moving out on trash yeah, right now. Yeah, they've got the Uber right now, so they that's what they're doing. They're pushing out straight on the dot. But you see, Kofan is already taking a, uh, a body shot from the sniper. What sniper? But yeah, he's just taking some general spam. I just—it looked like such yeah, a yeah, huge yeah. chunk came out of him. I thought it has exactly, to be a sniper yeah. that can do that much. But I guess it just shows you the power, of the concentrated spam of top five. And now the Uber does get exchanged. But you need to keep in mind they have actually lost three players already. So this Uber is isn't ideal from the start. You do see a scout making an honest go of it, though. I believe yeah. that's actually uh, Blitzo. Yeah, it's Blitz so supported by Keizo, they tried to use the fact that they pop way later than, than Kothan to try to get him after the charge, but as you said, yeah, it's not the smartest play to make when you lost already 3 players. But once again, top 5 rocket when they make mistakes, they don't like fully make mistakes, you know, they oh, realize... Oh, we see Blitz, so he's actually going out, um, oh, sorry to interrupt you no there, problem. he actually launched himself out of counter, <laughs> he actually tried to sync that up with his uh, soldier yeah, compadre, but they don't actually manage to pick up uh, Kofan at all. He has been sent to very, very, very low health though. He's almost got the Uber, he's got the safety blanket and can maybe finally push in. He's lagging just a little bit behind his team, but that's just to make sure he does not drop that Uber for whatever yeah. reason. Yeah, some blue soldier um, just unlocked his airshot counter for the for this game as well onto, onto Neo and Choke. And will top 5 rocket try to try to block the, um, the second point? Yes, they do have their demo man, they just lack a soldier at the moment. And Hello Kitty Ninja, once again they are not taking the they are not taking the risk to and it's actually top five rocket the, that are trying to push with Neo leading the charge. They use the river charge, Cothan is charged as well. He uses this is this could be very bad for top for top five rocket right there. Oh Schmurf is trying to just inch himself yeah. out. It does actually get taken out in the end and now you'll see uh, Hello Kitty Ninja's trying to strike while the iron is hot. They've forced all of them inside to the base now. They've actually managed to get onto Spy before they can even get onto the balcony area. Bonkers is always securing the uh, like the battlements, making sure there's no pressure whatsoever. Oh, he actually picks up a demo man pick from the top lobby for his good play. A nice little reward there for being a good little roamer. Bonkers still uh, rocking that uh, that black box and now they're looking to pressure from this uh, this lower door. Maybe they can just cap out this point without even having to bring Ubers into the equation. Yeah, on top five rocket uh, cleverly adapted their position. Even they had no demo, they went on the floor to try to body block for the soldiers that went for the point. It was it worked quite well for them, and we are back to we are. Um, but actually, Cothan still has a new advantage. I don't yeah, know he if has he the realizes. Uber. He it. needs to be going now, now, now. Though there's only five percent or ninety-eight percent on the medic. He needs to just heal someone for just two more seconds. He's got his Uber ready. He go. doesn't look like he even has to use it. They've just defended this out. They've tried but to there's no stickies on the point in case of a little flank. The flank from the scout actually took out yeah. uh, the demo man on the side. Now he's just the poor little soldier by himself. I believe that's Neo. He has Good to just bye. do so much. He has no shotgun to do all this, but he's trying his little hardest. But Medico uh. couldn't spawn in time, and it does go around to Hello Kitty Ninja. This is a game tricky one one. Yeah, yeah. It's, it really is a game, but both teams are respecting themselves a lot. But this, but the the, the one time. Uh, oh, John is actually asking a very good question. Yeah, that's so a the very first good game got dedosed, uh, yeah. and one one has been scored. Do we reset the round scores for this map? I believe so, because otherwise it would be a bit complicated. So we're gonna assume that. Oh. Oh, that's that. Oh. That explains the timing. All right, so it's actually a two-one game. Yeah, oh. because we played this game, this map with a time limit of of seventy. Is that right, John? Alright. Yeah, that's, okay. that's that's it. Yeah. Okay, just to fill everybody in on the viewers, and you, obviously you can't hear John. Uh, probably. Um, 
was like once upon a time this game was played actually like a week ago or tried to be played but it got DDoSed uh, to a whole new oblivion so they decided to just uh, you know reschedule the game and start it off but actually they decided to carry over the initial score and the initial time from the first map of that last DDoS game or at least supposedly uh, as we're informed so the one round that actually uh, hit Hello Kitty Ninjas is probably going to carry over onto this game, so it's actually 2-1 for Hello Kitty Ninjas, even though the, it's a bit deceiving in yeah. that way, but, and the timer does say so. So actually the time is really, I guess, like against the clock now. You don't know how much time is left. I think it's only a there very little amount. Left. Yeah, there is three minutes left actually at the moment, so yeah, um, Top 5 Rocket are on the rush to try to equalize the score to maybe bring it to a Golden Cup. Yeah, so technicalities, technicalities aside, let's go back into the game. Enough about this uh, piggledy piggledy about like rules and what we're agreeing with, gentlemen's agreements aside. We see uh, that the ball is in top five rockets court. It's up to them to make this equalizing play. Yeah, but it's okay. a five on five situation. Both demons are up. Um, Neo tries to go for a play on bottom left, but uh, Pablo and Bonkers got his number, so. Yeah, top five rockets are back in control. They are not. Uh, they are not playing this too fast. They, they know that ubers are equal, and they, they have another go to, to just try trade ubers and do something afterwards. Qu but they, they might have to just pick to, to actually see that Ast is playing sniper. Otherwise, this could be a very big trouble for them. Question, Twiggy. Uh, um, so we see the top. Well, yeah, that was I was just about to ask about that. Like, I was looking at the ta the server time. I s yeah, I see the map time remaining, and it says 14 minutes left. Like, you'd think the team was would just set the time to uh, just very a minute strange. left. Yeah, so it's very strange because I have they... the correct time limit. What happens if they just continue uh, <laughs> during that 14 minutes? Do we just assume that like this is the game going on, or is that null and void? Or well, I have no either idea. way, we. We'll just focus on in-game, let's not think about the semantics, we'll just deal with that stuff later. And what I see immediately later, I'm so sorry for not discovering the game and uh, trying to figure this out. But, you know, we just want to inform the players as accurately as possible, the viewers, uh, so I should say. And actually, it is an equalizing round, possibly, technically, maybe, to uh, top five rocket. We are launched yep. into potentially the fourth crits. or the f uh, fifth round or... or Along those lines, we've launched straight into the middle here. Shmurf take picking up two kills immediately. You actually wow. see like wow. Okay, so a, yeah, so you actually see. Uh, I guess maybe a uh, valley push coming out, but I don't yeah, know yeah. if they're actually playing properly. Maybe they're just turning well, top into mid. Rocket, top of rocket are definitely aware of the time limit because they are pushing their asses out on this spire, and they actually have crits to to try to wipe uh, to wipe down the HKN squad on last. Crits is popped. Crits yeah, they've got 20 connect. seconds left. They could still do this. They're going for the crits play. They've actually taken out one play. You actually see Blitz, so he's going behind onto the medic, but Fishkov is aware of him. There's 10 seconds left. Yeah, and they've and actually overed, yeah. yeah. Uh, so... It looks like it's yeah. going to be a golden cap, right? Yeah, it is most definitely going to be a golden cap, especially... The timer was bugged. Okay, so that's why we would just look like the crazy insane people just screaming like what is going on with your game you haven't done this properly when I don't know why I had it correct and you did not so maybe it's because I, I, I connected after they did the time limit change maybe the time uh, limit change isn't carried over the source TV I have no idea I was just, I thought I was just in an alternate reality I was just like why is everyone saying there's only minutes left why is apparently 2-1 <laughs> a, a time score yep. what is going on with this world yeah, it's uh, definitely a very strange situation to be in, even for the players. <laughs> but the top five rocket kept their cool and managed to do the impossible and bring it to Golden Cup. Okay, it's okay though, because now we're we've reset. We're back uh, to the pinching point of when the DDoS came in. This is all like what we see. In, I see in the game. Everyone else is going to see in the game. I'm not crazy anymore now. Yep. Right. And do we have any idea of what the next map's going to be? By the way, well. Okay. Snake water granary. All right. Okay. So golden cap, Twiggy. How, how are you feeling? In a, you feel good for your uh, your French. I think I French compadres. Yeah, I feel pretty good. They, they they definitely picked up a lot of momentum during that that last round, and I'm pretty sure that uh, 
that Hello Kitty Ninja were pretty happy to just to barely hold it on the end. And they were definitely under a lot of pressure, so yeah, the confidence could, could definitely help them. Yeah, and they've got the momentum right now. They did uh, end that last luck. game with like a winning sort of attitude, and now they've launched straight into the Golden Cap. Again, if you're just tuning us, this is the Golden Cap, the first map of the evening, CP Badlands. Hello Kitty Ninjas versus Top 5 Rocket. This is for, I guess, just for the first map, a point. A crucial play uh, for the entire series. We'll see who wins it out. What's happening on mid Twiggy? Uh, both uh, blue soldiers are opting to go defensive first before double bombing in on the black box once again is proving totally useless for Bonkers as he just jumped behind them. But uh, Keizo could get completely as fucked by Bonkers. Yes, Keizo gets <laughs> destroyed on Vizu as well. This is this is more a bad play by Top Fire Rocket than a very good play by Bonkers, but this could be a very good ride there. Oh nice serve by Ombra just dodging the rocket barely. And what I said just uh, just before the round was completely wrong. <laughs> Top oh. Rocket did not benefit uh, for, for, from any momentum going uh, going uh, onto the Golden Cup. Oh, look at the bright side, Twiggy. Umbrak got out with 90% yeah. of his Uber. He could still most likely defend this, and defend it he shall. He has popped his Uber in exchange with uh, Hello Kitty Ninja's Uber. Hilldrift does exit out from the bomb left. He's trying to maybe pick off this soldier from the bomb left himself, but he just... Oh, the, goes away with is a bit of damage onto himself. Now we just come back to a good old fashioned stalemate. Yeah and tonight we did not see um, we did not see a very good uh, very good holds by Top Five Rocket. I, I, uh, actually they just had to hold once and they did not manage to to, to keep the point and push out. So I hope this I hope they realize what was uh, their mistake last time and they don't make it again. Ooh, but at the moment, it's going just aggressive a on battle, yeah. uh, top five rocket they're just on the top, uh, on the demo man for top five rocket. I think that's Kaizu. Yeah, he's the only one that's actually using a, his accurate in-game name. Make it easy for him. <laughs> Thank you, Kaizu. But uh, yeah, yeah As does get picked off there, but it was just it what I wanted. Sniper, he wanted yeah. to uh, come back as sniper. Is very but uh, smart, Blitzo has actually gone on to spy. He's trying to sneak his way into this bottom lobby. Maybe disguise himself out. Go for the huge flank and maybe get that backstab onto Corfan. You know, start snowballing but back. He's back on scout. I think it was just to check if he saw a sniper, or I don't know, uh, or maybe he, looked, he just he went, ran he out, went out of left. Line. It looked like he made it yeah. like mostly the way in, but he just opted like he was too scary of a situation, I suppose. Yeah, maybe he just uh, ran out of uh, out of clo clock a bit earlier than what he would have liked, so he did not take the risk for his team. Uh, that's a uh, that's a position to to hold. I mean, you need to be worried I, I'm about not against this. Yeah. You need to be worried about this sniper. sniper yeah, you have to be worried about this sniper though, Twiggy. The aggressive one, like, the more time you give him, eventually he's going to get that shot. It's just a game of probability and time yep. and statistics and all this math mumbo jumbo. So that sniper pick will come based on how good he is, uh, is how quickly that sniper well, pick Neo, will come as well. Oh, well, Neo, clutch pick, clutch, uh, pick by Neo right there to just spot that. Um, but the Ooh. combo was bottom Smurf. left. He's taken out Hildreth. He's taken out Pablo. Wow. This is going to prompt a massive push out from yep. Top 5 Rocket. They do have the uh, the Uber to kind of fall back on this though. Bonkers is getting pressured. Kofan is like focusing all his heels to keep it's on him. Kofan actually pops his Uber quite preemptively if I say so and myself. And doesn't even want to want to try to block the scouts on Spire which is I guess the right call. But this is an Uber completely for free. And not Top 5 Rocket have their own Uber mm. as is playing Sniper so no backup threat from him. Uh, this time, if Top 5 Rocket doesn't screw up, them, they, they should be able to get the mid. A very questionable pop coming out from Kofan, because uh, uh, he had his back turned yeah, to kind of look forward and get out as soon as possible, because if you look forward, you move a bit quicker in this game, by, by 7% or something, very minor like that. <laughs> but uh, in doing so, he didn't know what he was firing at, what was firing at him, how close that was. He thought like the scariest monster was right behind him and he was going to eat him up, so he just had to pop that Uber. Yep. Uh, no, of course, on, um, on the bright side, he still retains a 30% advantage, but will this be enough for him to to make a play on this mid-top 5 rocket? Uh, very good at just spamming, uh, uh, just focusing down the their spam to specific targets, and it looks like Fish Cup and Bonkers maybe will try to will try a Uber from the from the house. Yeah. Now Uldred is coming, is coming, he's trapped actually. The trap doesn't oh. uh, doesn't. Um, Trigger anything and um, three picks immediately. Wow. And Ombrak went down as well. 
Well, that was uh, tatters of a defense, I guess. They didn't quite get out at that choke area. It's always yeah. very risky getting out from that choke because it's so easy to just kind of like keep the momentum going. There's no, it's not like a t tight, like indoor little area. It's still like a huge, massive, wide area that you can just launch yourself into and just keep yeah. pushing forward. Yeah, what you see is, re is uh, very true. We rarely see medics escaping through house on Badlands. Uh, this could be. This could have been a problem there. And Bonkers is uh, shutting down Schmurf's plans to play engineer on this last by destroying the gun. Schmurf is looking to still play engineer and put it back on. And Pyro, py Pyro engineer the same defense as uh, Hello Kitty Ninja used. Yeah, with the with the new changes to the engineer in the the gun metal update, it's slightly faster to build that Uber. I mean the Uber. If only, but uh, it would build gun. that sentry gun like yeah. very quickly now. I'll be expecting to see an engineer almost every single last point now from here on out. We, the Uber does get pushed in. They have just all they've done is just made top five like rotate round. They have actually got a pick here the and there. Control, but yeah. So have uh, top five onto the rest of HKN, and now it's just poor little Fishkoff who just has to deal with like five people shooting at him. It's just way too hard for the. Uh, the, the German pocket to deal with. Yeah, as long as they don't get back capped right now, they should be able to take back the spy or risk Bonkers. He was the first spawn, I believe, he's on oh, Bali. Bonkers, he's, he's on, on he's the on top five medic. He actually does yep. force the Uber out of Ombrak. They do get the, uh, the spy on the bright side, though. The positives, if they need to focus on, if they're going to possibly claw back this uh, this round. Indeed, indeed, it was very, very tough on this last point, but Ooh, top the, five rocket are rushing spam. things a bit too much right there. And just meet Hildred uh, weapons, and Hildred is gonna say hello, thanks for the free spire, guys. Oh, I'm just gonna see, push no, you he's back. He delivered himself to Blitzo, and Blitzo has just blitzed him. Yeah. I think that wasn't the that wasn't what Hildred had in mind confidence. right there. <laughs> it, it was like, matter. oh my god, guys, yeah. I'm getting kills. Did you see this? I'm gonna go get more. Oh, I'm dead. You know this feeling, right? When you play lobbies, <laughs> yeah. you think you are go doing well, and then you just you feel you get greedy. You're like, oh, I want yeah. it all. I want all of it, and you just die. The top five rocket are once again uh, opting to opting for the aggressive stance with this forward hold, trying to get someone mm. that would be a bit a bit too adventurous. But HKN got their number. Yeah, HKN got their number, and they are cl climbing the spire, which is the correct play. You absolutely want to avoid the, the traps on the shutter doors. From the uh, demo man, and it's much easier well, to force your way in from the back. I, I, I would say the safe play, I guess. It's the, yeah. the plan that most of the time it never fails, but if you're really ballsy, you could just uber two scouts in from the bottom door and just see launch them straight to the point. Like, that's a good old infuse strat from yeah, like, 2007. Works. It works, but what do you do when you meet him as Uber, as Uber as well? Like, you just, get, you just gifted your, your own Uber to them. I guess your point is valid when, when teams are opting to forward all without the Uber. But right there, um, each can oh, just fish that. coffee actually oh, does get mind. a nice little trade. But in saying that, they've actually forced the Uber. Uh, I'm not sure if that's worth it. An entire Uber just for that little pick, and especially popping in this top area. On the bright side, though, they do get out uh, relatively unscathed past losing their pocket, and now they've I actually think it's lost. Uh, it, yeah, yeah Fishkoff as yeah, actually. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, they lost. Yeah. They, they lost case on Blitzer. Like as soon as you lose, you, you lose one when you forward all. That means that one of the entries is completely open for free. And Bonkers was doing a good job to try to to try to pull some defenders on him on drop down, and that opened up Kazo and Blitzer to to a very good aggression by HKN right there. Yeah, I think I want. I wanted to see them push the issue. Just get that uh, that Uber players into a dangerous situation and just ride up in Hello Kitty Ninja's face. But you know, without the, the pocket, yeah, they didn't know. They didn't know if they had the time to like drop down and get get the kills, or if they had to to fall back. And yeah, the pop was a bit uh, questionable by Ombrak right there. But yeah, it happens. So well, first map to Hello Kitty Ninja. Yeah, the first step possibly to Hello Kitty Ninja's. Uh, path to Prem. The winner of this, keep in mind, does get a guaranteed spot for next season in Prem. A very, a very big dream, I'd guess, for most TF2 players in the playing in the ETF2 all season. But there will still be playoffs for another for another spot, right? When the season gets announced. Oh yeah, I suppose like if you know, last, like last I season. guess anybody can apply for Prem in a way, but uh, <laughs> you know, some players are going to have a better argument or a better like <laughs> case. For why they should get prem, but it's nice, you know, having these little little things you don't have to worry about. You don't have to play more off and PCWs and get get.
gather all those screenshots and just, you know, beg the admins, like, please, I can play Prem. And then just get smashed by Cadus if you do make Prem. Cadus, what, what, what a dream crusher. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's a lot of work, basically. It's a lot of yeah. work. And it's I'm just trying. nice, uh, you know, it's probably easier just to win the high, the high playoffs than it is to just do all that. I'm trying to find the, um, I'm trying to find the logs for, for, for this course. game. Do you have them too, Chubba? Or do you need them? Uh, I'm gonna have a look. I'm gonna have a gander, see if I can find them. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, the logs for the for the first part just saw Bonkers and Fishkopf. They leave ring! I know I was a bit mean for the black box Roma, because you bait your team, but he was doing the damage and very and being very annoying, especially considering he was not using that many heals to do so. And on the other hand, who did perf who, who performed badly? I mean, nobody in particular, I would say. Yeah, they were of course dying a bit more because that's the playstyle the top five rocket does with the with the roaming soldier. Uh, it's n notable to see that Medico actually. Uh... Oh, actually, I'm looking at the golden cap. Uh... Yeah, on the golden cap, you did do a, a a very good job and a lot of work. But um, yeah, it's very tough to analyze these logs that are split on two or three parts, played on two different days <laughs> on two different servers. Yeah, that is a very big different ping conditions. So yeah. Yeah, I don't think uh, the logs are gonna show much insight, at least in this it's not particular like, instance. It's not like both these teams had any any weak link that we could identify with the stats anyway. Top five rocket. They uh, rely a lot on on the on their pocket plays, especially during Ubers and his shotgun aim to destroy any bomber. And their scouts are have a good team play and play together a lot instead of like having one that that will shine more on on solo plays. I would say both of both of them are very capable. So um, if if you had to sum up, sum it up to me, Twiggy, why did top five uh, lose here? Like, what could they have done better to to maybe? Have Claw this back and pull this round. Like I mean, this map the other way. Uh, it's up to it's up to the golden cap uh, first and foremost. Uh, for, foremost, we we can't just we can't blame either of the teams for what they what they showed during the regular 17 minutes of the of the first map. And it comes it comes down to the it comes down to to the first mid really. Like you lose the first mid, you lose like three or three or four players, and then the other team has complete control. They get your spire. They can just uh, seed you for as long as they want, really, on on your last. So from this situation, it's um, when you consider two teams that have a very similar level, it's very, very, very difficult to just muscle your way out of your own last. You just have to bank on the o the other team to to screw up something. But HKN didn't, so it came down to the last. It came down to the golden cap mids, like. Maybe maybe uh, top five rockets uh, sh showed their their plays a bit too early on the map, and then it gave time for Hildreth and his boys to adapt for the for the golden cap when it mattered the most. I think the big thing I noticed on that golden cap mid was that uh, the roaming soldiers decided to do two drastically different things. Uh, you saw yeah. Neo immediately going in, just going for the big jugular, being that cannonball for his team to strike down. Uh, you know, cause a little diff like hole in that armor and then maybe uh, let the rest of rock top 5 rocket just kind of like exploit that little opening he's gave them but uh, Bonkers on the other hand decides to kind of play a more annoying role get in uh, from the house and just cause chaos from there, just pick off players who are weak, try to pick up that health pack take steal that health pack for himself, come around for the flank Yeah. so it and went down to it went down to, to who followed the, the aggression by Neo, like as you said uh, what 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 he did was relying on his team, whereas Bonkers was baiting his team more or less. But his team, but Hello Hello Kitty Ninja were absorbing the pressure very well on this action. Maybe a lack of uh, a lack of a very good follow up this time around. I, I mean, you can't ex you can't expect to rape the enemy team like five kills to zero on every mid. So, I mean, it's very big risk just to lay it all down on your Roma to go for the big uh, massive. Clutch playing bomb that's going to yeah. make the mid. While Bonkers went for a safer route, like you can do a lot from that position there. You could always just re jump in, or you could just continue your shenanigans inside that house. 
or you could kind of like maybe even link up with your team a little bit later and or get behind them yep. all these live. options were available for bonkers i'm trying to load the game right now as my tf2 has crashed you're just gonna have no to problem. run go away with this twiggy tell me what's happening paint me so a yeah. picture Hey, we are live. It's Lake Water a map where it's very good to have both your soldiers jumping like retards. So I'm pretty sure that uh, that one of the team is gonna up, is gonna opt for this kind of approach. Top five rockets are very known for their for their very high and very aggressive bombs. Let's see what they do. Neo is indeed doing this. He's not followed by Medico, but he lands straight on the face of Hildred. But Bonkers destroyed Medico in the, in the meantime, so no soldiers for top five rockets. Um, top 5 rockets are now 3 down, they lost their demo man and it's gonna be a clean mid for for Hello Kitty Ninja fortunately for Ombrak boss his scouts remain alive so that means uh, very good protection for him and it looks like they will try to they will try for a play on second and yes Schmurf cl claims 2 frags, one on Fishcock, one on Ast and this could this could swing the momentum uh, on the favor of top 5 rocket if the scouts keep doing this kind of a great job but Hildreth is there, he has his words to he has his word to say to deny top five rocket on this middle. But no, both teams are just staring at each other at the moment. It looks like we're gonna have an Uber an Uber exchange anytime soon. Yes, scouts on pops. Ombrak pops. The Uber for the Uber is very good from Hello Kitty Ninja and they managed to hide Pablo in the meantime. Will Pablo uh, prove to be effective right now? Not really yet. The fight still continues on. Keep in mind that Hello Kitty Ninja have the forward spawns and Neo seeing the fight is gonna is not gonna go the way of his team tries to play onto the medic. The play fades and now Ombrak, Lizzo and Medico have to run for their lives. And they will most likely give up second point. Keep going Twiggy, you're doing a beautiful job. Uh, I'm so sorry Twiggy, please no forgive. No problem, no problem. Lizzo opts to try to, to trade his life for heal for heal dreath one. Which was a good play until Keizo uh, opted to, po to peek against two soldiers. Of course, you don't want to hit rockets in the face at close range. This is not the best way to perform very well for your team. And seeing this, Kosan and his boys are using the momentum of Keizo's death to push and last from the left side. There is still no stickies. Bonkers is going miles high in the sky to destroy Neo. The Ubers is triggered for Ombrak, uh, for Kosan as well. It's very, very close. Keizo went, uh, Keizo spawned. Keizo got one pick on Kotz on Keizo, two picks on Keizo gets destroyed. Yeah, very good play by uh, by Hello Kitty Ninja, using what uh, using all the bits of momentum uh, uh, Top Five Rocket gave to them. Still sending client info. You must hate me so much at this point. No, you? no, it's fine. Um, if you can, if you shoot me questions, something like maybe I can like give a little bit of something. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's just not needed to talk all the time. So yeah, nothing was happening. And now the mid is playing. He is going once again. Now it's a massive rocket for Bonkers. Very good play by Bonkers. He opts to go to the roaming soldier to just weaken his bomb and do his annoying play. And yes, they, they totally got the number of Neo. Neo got smashed. Their medico still not finding any opening to do damage is just sucking hills at the moment it's a it's a four on six situation but the health on hello kitty ninja players uh, is very very bad so if only if only top five rocket were, were aware of this they could have forced a very good uber charge but no medico goes down to ask very good job by us i think it was worth it to take this trade because no pockets in this second point, uh, Ubers are ready for both teams. I'm pretty sure without Medico, Ombrak and his boys will be very reluctant to commit their Uber charge, and indeed they are not committing it. Oh, I'm seeing murmurs. I'm, I think I can see the light, Twiggy. It's so oh. beautiful. <laughs> All right. Are you in? Yes, I'm yes. in. I'm struggling though. The TF2 is bricking itself into a whole new dimension, but I can see moving pictures somewhat, Woo! and maybe I can say some words as well. And if you know, tell me if I'm going wrong here. We actually see Hello Kitty Ninjas pushed uh, top five rocket all the way to the last point. They're defending. Uh, That's very true. We just that. witnessed a new bow exchange too. Oh boy! Oh boy! So I haven't missed much, just a round for Hello Kitty Ninjas. Very impressive in the first five minutes, actually. But uh, oh, we see enough. the Wait initial uh, bomb going onto the scouts, so just bullying Hello Kitty Ninjas off the second point there. Uh, they actually do finish cleaning up Ast on that, uh, that... I don't know what he was trying to do with that little play underneath oh, there. You actually see Bonkers going in from this kind of... Uh, 
from the catwalk, but he actually has not caught any of the, the top five rocket players off guard. Yeah, I was using uh, I, I was using the third person view. Did he had time to fire all his rockets right there, or did he just get instantly destroyed? Uh, I think he well, he only had three rockets, but what with uh, the black box and all that. But still, uh, no, I think he only. It was just not the right player, you know. He yeah. wanted the medic so hard, and you know that point where he's so far away, but you still go for it anyway. Uh, uh, you know, nothing will settle. It won't settle less for anything else. It will just does get taken out by. It's uh, the chance for for top for rocket where they have 50 person Ibad Motel plus no demo man. If they just pop early and avoid the avoid the, the bullets from us, it's, it could be very great. But lots of juggle apparently from from the Hello Kitty Ninja soldiers. Uh, screwing up the, the uber charge for a bit, but it doesn't matter. The demo man, the demo man absence means that the top five rocket scouts had free reign onto the onto the point, and it's tied one one after six minutes of play. Uh, deja vu happening in the Snake Water map. It seems like the similar score line on uh, the previous map, Badlands, but it did go to Hello Kitty Ninjas in the end. We'll see if Hello Kitty Ninjas will prevail again on the Snake Water map. Uh, the first thing I see is just a very sneaky soldier kind of going into their kitchen, but as uh, opted to jump out immediately, he does focus uh, Hildred for a little bit, brings him down very low, but decides to reconnect Head with his team. Yeah. We do see the first frag coming out onto the uh, top five scouts, and then Pablo again following up onto the pocket soldier for top five Medico. It seems it a very quiet mid in a way. Like yeah, yeah, top, uh, Hello Kitty Ninja definitely studied the playstyle of uh, Top 5 Rocket. They're, they're not using any kind of soldier aggression onto Kaiser, but they keep their soldiers to defend against uh, against Neo and Medico. And as a result, uh, they managed to win the mid. They managed to trigger the uber charge for for Ombrak and Cotton still retains his own. So 3 second point for Hello Kitty Ninja plus 100% advantage to push last, plus 2 picks on both scouts. <laughs> you couldn't ask for uh, for anything better at this point for them. Yeah, uh, top five rocket did what I believe is like a really risky play. Is uh, he wanted they, they wanted the, not to give that dem uh, that second point for three, but actually just pop out on that second, use the Uber, force maybe get force the Uber charge from Hello Kitty Ninja, yeah. maybe to surprise them on that second point and get a few frags from that. But quite a few teams have been doing that now, and it's almost. Like almost foreseeable to see, and most the teams just is, back off. It's yeah, very the thing easy. is on Snake Water, the window to do it is actually very, very quick because the point caps relatively quickly, and it feels to me, it felt, it felt to me like top five popped on their demo man. So the demo man is not the best class in the world to, to aim correctly and force a medic. And this time, Medico gets completely smashed by uh, a counter jump from Fishkov. Bonkers is still playing around his medic to destroy Neo. And it looks like Top 5 Rockets are just throwing bodies at Hero Kitty oh. Ninja. Pablo. And those, yeah. Pablo finding a weakness, though. He has actually managed to muscle his way on that top area. And once he took down one uh, domino, that domino just started smashing into all the other dominoes. Uh, effectively, just. Yeah. Taking up uh, three players off the back. This of is that. the strength of playing passive on mids without uh, committing any player, and it looks like top five rocket don't know how to play this kind of game. And this time, this time around, they will go for an uber trade with Ombrak and Medico, which is the better, which is the better, uh, the better team composition. And Neo actually triggers the uber for Cothan, and Ombrak retains his own. So it went much better this time for top five rockets, and they will most likely try to make use of their uber charge to gain the midpoints. Yeah, it looks like they're choosing to push out from Sawmill, they're just uh, slowly taking it. They've got all the time in the world uh, in a way with this Uber, just making sure they don't fluff it up in any way. They do see a lot of concentrated spam coming out from Hello Kitty Ninjas. It does force out Ombrak from his Uber, but a nice little clear out and back, up, back off by Hello Kitty Ninjas. They just surrender over that midpoint and just contend that they've used up their Uber. Yes, and they will actually manage uh, combine with uh, with demo man. I think that was spamming Sorum to get a, to get a scout pick. So this could open up a window for for, oh, for Neo he's to in. get a lot he's of damage. He's on the medic. He's going for him. He's very nice. low, and now you see Good Neo job. backing up all that damage that Blitzer has done to him now, and the cleanup crew in the form of Schmerf just taking out everybody now. Pablo does come back, but that was from his death much earlier. The initial. Cascading effect, I guess, that brought all that yep. hell onto Hello Kitty Ninjas. Yeah, top five rockets are definitely very good to engage to, to do this kind of plays, and it worked perfectly. And they have 85% of and 
No wonder they're, they're just gonna wait for the Uber charge. Uber cleanly two or three players to try to get the to try to get the picks onto Cawthon, Hildreth, and then the cap. And the Uber really very good. They send four players and yeah, as, oh. get, as destroys Keizo as he crosses the shutter door without uh, without a flash. And this is danger zone for out of my rocket right now. I think all we saw there was uh, Hello Kitty Ninja rotating all the players around and with top 5 uh, Rocket wanted to get all the players in but spend as little uber as possible. He opted to bring the demo man in shortly after the uber but the sniper just picked him off as he tried yeah. to come back in and it was just absolute tatters from that point. They wasted Another all that one. uber. And Blitz was playing sniper as well on, on the window by the way. But the problem of that is like uh, top of Rocket ubered, uh, ubered blindly on the shutter door without uh, peeking to see what was the setup from the... Uh, oh Blitz, so he actually Ninja. drops down going for the cheeky little pick onto Korfan. Maybe he could just get the nice little drop. He got the or... force actually. Was, was, was that the sniper? Was it? Well, because I thought, they, I thought they were in, they were medical, long yeah. gone. They were, Blitzer just tried to go for it, you know, just missed the shot and got cleaned up in the end. I think there was another reason that the, they actually got forced out there. Yeah, but, you're uh, probably right, but whatever the result is the same, they just trade one guy for the Uber charge on the point, which is alright in the position of top 5 rockets, but unfortunately for them, they are only at 80% Uber, which means they have. Uh, they have less than 30% to be advantage, which is very small to work with, especially on snake water where the concentrate is firm, as you said, is so effective to force. And there's a trap on window! Oh, and Medico just walks in while Blitzweight was shooting at it. <laughs> this is not the way you want to you wanna push to start. Yeah, nobody likes dying uh, during these big uh, initial pushes, and now, now that they've they got their own Uber to fight with, they've just decided to go for a good old. It almost look, looks like a mid fight. Uh, if you look close enough, but now yep, you're right. I've actually frozen. What, what's going on, Twiggy? Now uh, is triggered by by Ombrak and and Kothan. Duba is much better for 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 fish cop forcing the multi Ooh. the multi Uber, and uh, as your TF2 crashed again, I guess. Um, Top for rocket are escaping on grass. Are you still with us, Chubo? I think Chubo died in the crash of his computer, or maybe or maybe he went AFK to plug his toaster. To run TF2 on it. Either way, top five rocket are now defending their second point, and Medico is actually uh, has actually a good clean shot onto Kauthan. Manages to get Kauthan. Where is Ombrak? Ombrak is in lobby, and um, he cleverly opts to go back with Schmerf. It's a it's a five on two situation. This is even even though the hills advantage are in favor of top of top five rocket, this is still very tough to hold for for them. When are the respawns coming? Two respawns right now. The demon is surely gonna calm things down for Ombrak and his boys. A 90% Uber. Um, since only Cawthon died on um, this action for Hello Kitchen Ninja, they did not they did not have the time to get an off class to tank this Uber charge. What kind of push top five rockets are gonna try to make? It looks like they're gonna go on the ramp classically. Uh, they are did they keep did they keep track of Pablo? Pablo is on she's Pablo is going for last. Is there anyone on last? They're going for the block? Yeah. Nice one. Nice one, Pablo. <laughs> For his team suiciding on the points to to try to, to try to block it long enough. That's a shame. Nobody checked on. Nobody checked the. Um, what's it called? The cheese. The cheese area. A very cheesy play by Pablo indeed. And as Chubo has definitely died, I'm gonna go go ahead for this next mid once again. Bonkers. This time he's eating a lot of spam, he's gonna take a lot of uh, of his medics time. And Neo, his bomb, his bomb was uh, completely denied too, so it's a passive mid right now. The first one to lose, uh, to get to lose a frag, just loses the mid. And this is what's happening, three frags for uh, in for Hello Kitty Ninja, I mean the frag three of Hello Kitty, of uh, top five rocket. Only Neo and, and, and Hombrak are up, and Hombrak with 90% uber onto to grass is gonna have to land a, uh, a sick surf if he wants to survive. He's actually going for the cheeky so <laughs> I managed to surf. <laughs> Can he do it again? I still alive! What? <laughs> Am I watching TF2 a TF2 center game there? What was <laughs> that? <laughs> oh my god, he should never have survived this. Please bonkers, play less TF2 center, play more MGE, land these shots. 
<laughs> anyway, this is really the saving grace for Top 5 Rocket as there, is, as there is still 15 minutes remaining on this map and they are down 2 rounds. They desperately need this Uber charge and to get a good clean trade if they want to get back on the mid. But very good position so far by Hello Kitty Ninja and just as I said that Blizzo sneaks in, goes to Hildred but misses 4 shots in a row. And this is now 2 players done for... For, for top 5 rocket, are they gonna use their river charge to block the point? It would be very dangerous. Ezo is barely escaping through all the spam. Oh, this is very tense for top 5 rocket. They're giving up ground as much as they can to manage to, to save their players. But nobody nobody ever wants to get pinned, uh, pinned down on your own last point. No off class for both the teams at the moment. I wouldn't be surprised if bunkers are asked just hold W and try uh, and try to to suicide for the Uber charge. It would open them up to get a sniper. Maybe bunkers will do it since bunkers dead. Schmurf is going for for a suicide of, of his own. He gets fish cup. Very good play by Schmurf right there. And this is opening the push. But did they do, do they see the stick? Is no, they didn't. Medico is lucky to survive with like 40 health. And uh, what will what will Hello Kitty Ninja do? They have to they have to leave. They were very hesitant. I know they pop on the demo man, but the demo man, but he gets medical. This is this is disaster. This is a disaster for Ombrak and his boys. Only only Keizo remains, and now the spawners are collapsing onto onto his face. Hildreth and Colton delaying the delaying the cap on their the Uber trade for as long as they could for their soldiers to spawn. And it proved it, it proved effective when Ombrak choked and dropped Medico. And now it's four to one. Wow. <laughs> Turns out that sick play by Ombrak uh, surviving against two soldiers <laughs> was of no use after all. Yep. We are on the sixth mid. Turbo uh, times are you still alive? I, I returned. I've died for your deed of sins, but I've resurrected myself, like in the <laughs> like the phoenix. Yes. Well, uh, not quite the, uh, the biblical story I was going for, but uh, I'll take it. I'm loading into the game right now. What right. a miss, Twiggy. Uh, you missed another mid. Uh, you, you missed. Basically, you missed nothing. Like top five rocket are playing all the mids, basically the same and getting wrecked every single time, sending their soldiers on top. Oh goody. So, so yeah, Umbrak is surviving. One scout is surviving with him. Pretty standard stuff. They will lose second point and they will stay on their last. Something has to change for a top 5 rocket right there. Either they, they have to not go to mid and play Chris or do something random. Either to have to like use their brains and realize that sending players onto HKN on this map is not working because they they have the perfect counter play. Um, fill me in to you. Didn't uh, top 5 rocket pick this map? Uh, most likely yes, because uh, it's it's me it's. Um, in my opinion, it's a good soldier map, and their soldiers are very good and very coordinated. As you, as you saw when they pushed on second without Uber, you know they got like five frags for for like one. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of play they like. But on mid, uh, Hello Kitty Ninja have just uh, have just uh, practiced uh, practiced their game, and they're countering this kind of strategy. And no Blizzo dies, so I'm pretty sure uh, Medico won't be very confident to go in. And just as I said, that he shows us his mad to use the charge. I know he's gonna get wrecked. Yes, it, des it gets destroyed. And right, Keizo and Schmurf are alive. It's a 5 on 3 for Hello Kitty Ninja. Either Keizo gets a 5k or they lose the round right now. Alright, we see the possibly, well, not quite the final push. They still need to make another little round happen Wrecked. at the end of this, yeah. but it looks like that round will uh, come quite forthly. Although, in saying that, the big double soldier bomb has came up and just decimated everybody. All of hate. Hello Kitty Ninjas were on top of that point and the, no one suspects, well everyone suspects that fast respawn and they just, they thought they could just do it quicker. The blocking yeah. from the scout from top five, actually Susie Bonkers hiding up in this cheesy area, maybe can pick off Neo, a nice little Roma battle happened off, Neo gets him by the skin of his teeth <laughs> and actually comes back to the cold embrace, I'm back Twiggy. Nice, okay. welcome back. It could All be right. the turning point, Ombrak has went crits, they managed to hold their last and they can push without Uber charge yes. on mid. This is, this is the kind of pushes uh, top 5 rocket are very good at, unless they face us, <laughs> who lands a clean shot on Ombrak's right. head. 
top five. Take my energy. Take all of my computer energy right now. And <laughs> they're launching straight into the middle. They've got uh, the initial presence on that mid. They have actually pushed Hello Kitty Ninjas all the way back onto second. You do see Corfan on 65%. Uh, the medic still survives for top five. We'll see what sort of reaction they play. They're actually playing very defensive. They actually opted to go crits uh, yeah. on the respawn. Ooh. I like it. I like it. He didn't work with regular rebirth, so you might as well uh, change something. But will uh, Hildreth and Colton opt to go for a push? They have a three round lead. There is only 10 minutes left. There is absolutely no need for them to take the risk, but it looks like they are taking it. Medico yeah. goes down. Kaiser oh. goes down. This is a very good rebirth by, by Hello Kitty oh, Ninja so far. Yeah, if Ombra could stay alive, though, that crits could be incredibly devastating. Yeah, but by the time the demo spawns. I don't think you see them well. You know, if you haven't got the demo, you have to do uh, do with the tools that you have. Maybe that pocket soldier can just rise up. Medico, he's been on fire recently, even despite that initial loss from Badlands. He's been doing good damage. Maybe just pun punching his uh, his gear into sixth gear rather than fifth gear might be the ticket to win back all these rounds. They've got the crits. Yeah, They've actually decided to take it onto the demo man who has respawned. He's used it. And we're seeing oh, a nice little... On the yeah, medic. actually, he nice. gets it onto the medic, he gets it onto the pocket soldier. Ast is trying to create some Good havoc job. in Saw Room, but he gets cleaned up by the flank team. That's the rest, that's exactly what I saw in my crystal ball. All of Hello Kitty ninjas and de are dead. Top 5 rocket, the crits is paving their way back into this game. And Kosan dies to the sticky trap and respawn, whereas Bonkers was clever enough to change oh, plus. Oh <laughs> yes, this is it, the oh. comeback, the 8 uh. minutes left on the clock, we're about to see something probably magnificent. We see Bonkers, he's trying to go for the initial little bomb, but uh, he can't manage to pick anybody off, they're playing very defensively. Now they're just walking together as a unit, as a team, top 5 rocket just trying to power over. Uh, the rest of Hello Kitty Ninjas they brought back the round. It's four two. Are you a believer, Twiggy? I can believe. I can believe in it, but it really depends on if they change stuff on this mid. Uh, at least they're running crits, so they will most likely have a different mindset. Uh, and crits is very good against passive teams on mid, since you obviously you build it faster. So if you don't give up, give away frag, then you have an advantage. So it could be very good indeed. Uh, as soon as top 5 gets a bit of momentum, they can exploit it very well. But they're going to be very aware of this Hello Kitty Ninjas, but uh, they've got sails in, uh, they've it got a whole new time, wind yeah. in our sa their sails right now. Ast is trying to clean them up, he's actually running circles around them in this little shed area. He finally does get taken out in the end, no beaving six frag moment for you Ast. And now they are capping out the mid, they are in the end winning the objective, they're still but pushing in. I guess playing off the fact that even though they've lost a few players, they've gone oh, with the crits, done. they've actually picked <laughs> off Hildreth. That's just, again, a nice little pick. Uh, they could probably keep going with this, possibly. I know they have got an Uber in, but they can they're force it. Force nice. it, they, they have in the lobby. And now Hello Kitty Ninjas have to go all the way back to last. You actually see Neo trying to go for some shenanigans below, but you actually see Smurf backing him up. His compadre Blitzo also coming in, but. This is where the rest of his team, where is Medico? He's coming in, he's bombing in, he's going for the demo man. He actually does get taken out in the end, but Kaizu does get some picks here and there. Maybe it's not going to be so tough. Yeah, oh. all things considered, it's still very good because they got the medic pick and they, uh, they, have the, they will have the crits by the time Medico, Medico spawns. So this kind of risks uh, are what defines the, the playstyle for top 5 rocket, whereas Hello Kitty Ninja are a bit more conservative in their approach. They play by, by they play by bonkers a lot, the damage he can do. Oh, and there is a sentry gun as well, there is a sentry gun on the field which is a very good counter to the crit to, to the crit creek. And that sentry gun just builds so quickly now, it must be so annoying. Neo going for the big bomb under the sentry gun, mission accomplished! He's cut the sentry gun, he's out! And he really cost his entire team! Up. Ildreth was aiming stickies at Neo and got the random death on the random death on Kaiser on the shutter door. Typical demo man play by the <laughs> by the British right there. And but but Umbrak still survives. Boston has seventy percent. It looks like uh, Hello Kitty Ninja are taking this opportunity to try to push out. Oh Schmurf, nice little cheeky pick onto uh, the scout there. He's actually Another snuck spawns. all the way out from lower. Oh. And now yeah, all the spawns are back. It's very difficult to push up. Uh, Push out, so they've opted just to go all the way back, not dare risking it. Yep, and they have the snipers still where is asked. 
think Ast is picking on the shutter door. Very cheeky shot uh, wow. attempted by Ast right there. Um, Who's got the quicker trigger finger, Twiggy? Is it going to be Coffin or is it going to be? Uh, is it going to be, be Kazo? Who? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> it's Kazo. I, I, I don't yeah. know. It's going to be tough, but Coffin is in a very, very, very good position. He can get destroyed if, if the crit is popped on Medico, though, and oh, no, he'll try to destroy his own rack. Yeah, they're just getting cleaned up. Uh, it's yeah. just way too hot. But on saying that, they're just well, not focusing on the objective. Smurf was focusing on the objective. He just caps out the, the last point outright. Again, the comeback. <laughs> Don't tell your strategy. Okay, guys, we're gonna push. We're gonna lose our med to the Uber Charge. We're, we're gonna all die missed. so that one guy can cap the point in front of the whole team. Trust just me, it works in Prem. We're gonna do it. Yeah, they just missed me, Twiggy. The second that they saw TurboTabs wasn't watching, they were like, No, he must see this. He the must curse see of the caster, man. It's like the blessing of the caster right now, and we actually see the big bomb in from nice here. He actually takes out Hildreth. That's a huge pick onto this middle. So now it's just the rest of uh, like top five just powering across this mid. Bonkers is trying to make something happen, but all he's made happen is his own death. Corfin is yeah. trying to back off. He's trying to sway this demo man for, to stop chasing him, but he's, there's no way he can turn. The stickies are everywhere. He's just opted to get his Ubersaw out, but he's actually faked them out. And now he tries to go back in, but then he actually dies. If he just kept running, he wouldn't have got hit by that sticky. Oh, where is his Hello Kitty ah, there were Ninjas? Two stickies. There were two stickies behind him on the shutter, though he should just have suicided because he's not going to be up in time. But the saving grace for Hello Kitty Ninja is that Ombrak is still running crit, so it's not the worst case scenario. You are not facing a Uber charge. Yeah, but so sometimes it's up to it's up to oh, Kazo to deliver. Right Neo, there. he jumps straight in. He's going oh, no. for the big bomb onto Hildreth. Ast actually taking out Kaizu, but they've got so much capped. And again, the comeback, Twiggy! Oh my God, I'm, I need to go. I need to buy lo lottery ticket. Oh. <laughs> you wow, you if you're to, just you joining us, this is the grand here, final. Right? This is the grand comeback. I'm joined with the grand t caster, Twiggy, the grand uh, cameraman, John. This is Hello Kitty Ninjas, this is top 5, pulling it back, making it a real nail biter. What's happening on mid Twiggy? Top 5 Rocket opting for, for top left control on Neo and Medico. Look at this synchronization. Kezu destroys Hildreth, this could, uh, but uh, on the other hand, uh, Neo is down. Neo is down to 20 health. Medico is down, and they did not manage to kill Kothan, no Fishkov, no Bonkers. Let's uh, but he's no, gone the, in, the he takes off Fishkov. Oh, he was the only one of his team to go uh, mm. to go for it, Schmurf and uh, Schmurf Neo and what they're is his still, name? They're Ombrak. still hanging out. They've got yeah. this crit. They're itching to use it, but is they need to use it soon. Team. Oh, they've used it. Yes. And they've got Colophon. What's he doing there? They've been running crits all game. Why would you step out? Who cares right now? Pablo is trying to cut off the losses. The medic is putting on his best impression of a Saturday Night Fever and just dodging all these shots. Ombrak is still alive. He's linked back up with his team. And now maybe from the heal advantage, he could just punish them and just get the rest of his team in. But Hello Kitty Ninjas are, behind. are not making this easy. Asked like the cancerous scout he is, has came back and he's just trying to resurface and shot him down, but no, he's got the medicine, Kaiser is taking is going for out. the Bokers is going for the catwalk play, but he drops down too early. Oh my oh, god. Oh, he gets this... Umbrak still, what? Umbrak, he finally goes down. The <laughs> third time is the charm. Bonkers was there to deliver it. Neo does clean him up in the end, but Neo gets uh, picked off himself by Pablo. Finally, Hello Kitty Ninjas can breathe a sigh of relief. Yeah. And maybe things can calm down for a bit. Yeah, this pick is gonna is gonna bring a lot of good things to, to Hello Kitty Ninja. They desperately needed oh. that kind of stuff, but Blitzo is not uh, oh, the down the pressure. Oh, Blitzo. Schmurf is right next well. to him. They're trying to stack the point. Oh, I don't. F it's going to cap. Nobody's quicker, going to though. block. Yeah. It is Nobody's, second nobody point can after block. all. And they haven't got any scouts for this defense. They need to get back or they need to kill some players. Either way, they're launching themselves straight at this last. But the co they've actually pinched in a little bit. They're actually capping out yeah, second blitz, so that's very, very cheeky. Yeah, he's triggered as yeah, well. He just, yeah, Smurf forces off the medic and Blitzo goes for the thing. Everyone's just doing their own thing, but oh my god, oh. what Uber it is. It's absolutely minced it. It's kind of done the job for them. I guess like uh, just no. oh no the dream <laughs> oh no can the out no he can't and that's <laughs> oh no ah, it Tears. was so close it was so close to another golden cup right there <laughs> oh my god I was so hyped I thought I could feel 
If I was hugged, yeah. I imagine all the players were. They must have been on a whole new like Cloud Nine. But in the end, they do the smacking yeah. reality of Hello Kitty Ninjas just hits them in the face. That bat, that uh, ambitious bat cap was their downfall for uh, top five. Maybe if they just if they all just went back to last, they could have maybe made a golden cap happen and then maybe win that way. Indeed, indeed. We don't know what could have happened other way, but we now have a winner of the high division in etf 2 This is Hello Kitty Ninja. Welcome them in Prem next season, guys. Yeah, the fat lady is sung. It's over. The dream is dead. But the dream, if one door closes, another opens, Twiggy. This is the beginning for of, uh, of Hello Kitty Ninja's Prem Ray, uh, I, I guess, Premiership like yep. uh, debut. Let's have a look at some walks. Yep, and um, Ast is clearly gonna gonna say hello to Nico and Yuki and Zebozai all the way on the top scout on the top uh, on the top scouts as he delivered an astonishing performance on this map, completely carrying this team, completely carrying his team. Like he has 37 frags. What? The second best fragger is Pablo with 21 on this on his Jesus. team. I was like, no, yeah, that must be a mistake. And then I looked at the, the yeah, no logs wonder, myself. I was like, good God. Yeah, no That's... wonder the, 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 the soldier aggression was not working on me. It's like, if you eat, if you eat tons of flag from us every time, <laughs> it's surely going to be a bit harder to kill stuff. It's been a, somewhat of a big game for, for the scouts, though. I should yeah. see uh, the soldiers, yeah, like you said, they've been lackluster, but uh, I guess when the limelight is given out, the scouts just take shape and uh, they do putting out a decent de performance. But you do see Hello Kitty Ninjas kind of dominating across the board when it comes to just delivering that uh, that EP of the damage. Did. And Medico got absolutely wrecked on this map, like much harder than last map as well. His bottom damaging for his team with tw 12 frags to 23, that's that which is a lot, but more importantly, he's eating. Is eating 9k, 9k 500 damage on the map, which is a lot. That's more than 300 damage per minute you eat in the face. It does that. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it does make you wonder. Like, uh, if all of uh, I see all the stats are quite pristine for Hello Kitty Ninjas across the board. It made me wonder why uh, it was so close. But in, I guess the only really determining factor was actually the medics. Like the survivability was just slightly better. I suppose for uh, Ombrak. Yeah, indeed, and um, the plays the plays were actually very coordinated by top five rocket, despite them falling a bit short in terms of DM against against the likes of Ast or Bonkers. So they played their best. They tried uh, they tried their best to to make it happen, but they will have to wait at least for a couple of months for the next playoffs, or perhaps just play another season in mid. I don't know. All right, I'm guessing. Everyone is itching to just get some interviews in and see what, how the players are feeling. Sure. All right. Whilst I try and make that fruition, uh, make that happen. Uh, what else can we talk about? What else can we talk about? I mean, we've glossed over the logs. I guess. Uh, no, I'll just try and get him in here. Keep him distracted, Twiggy. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm talking to top five members right there to to see if we can get them to, to do the interviews too. But overall, yeah, this is uh, very promising for Hello Kitty Ninja, as we saw last season. Premiership debut debut for for dogs were actually quite good. They did not get stomped like it could have been the case some years uh, some years ago. So what they showed was very promising tonight. I feel so bad. I was m I missed half of it, Twiggy. No wonder I'm only uh, lackluster one percent approval rating. I don't turn up for the bleeding games. Yeah, you can go for you can go and and watch the the vods when they will be up <laughs> uploaded yeah. and, and listen to your Who's wonderful this voice. Tabs guy is horrible. <laughs> and we have one of our guests. Hello, Umbra. Hey. All right. I think I've got Hildreth in here as well. He is. He's coming here post haste as quick as he as he can. Still p probably popping the champagne in his mumble, but here he is now. He has joined us. Gonna have to unmute him. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing. There we go. No, oh. I've just muted him myself. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, right. All right. 
Welcome guys, welcome. Very good games, very good game. I was told anyways. I missed a good half of them from uh, technical difficulties, but Twiggy <laughs> picked up the slack. Uh, first off, congratulations Hildreth. You've made it to Prem. Uh, again? Again, yeah. Yes. <laughs> GG. <laughs> How do you feel? It was a fun season, man. Um, it was more... Uh, I'm, I'm more happy for the rest of the guys because they've been playing together for a long time. I'm actually trying to get these guys uh, Aston, Corfin and Bonkers in Mumble, but they're having problems. Here's Ast now. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. More the merrier, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, I guess uh, no matter how much you try and get away from it, Hildreth, uh, Prem just keeps dragging you back in. It's pretty easy when you've got scouts like Ast on your team. <coughs> and uh, yes, ma- I spent like the Corfin. password wrong, so it didn't work. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Alright, so Hildreth, you might seem a very lukewarm to Prem around about now, but what about you, Corfin? What about you, Ast? How are you feeling? I don't know, it's, it's exciting to be the high champion. Yes, yes. <laughs> you, can, you can now slap Prem to your uh, to your TF2 CV. Is this the dream? Was this uh, what you've all been like aiming towards for for seasons on seasons of playing high? Yeah, on the year 2008 when I started, I look at the Prem and I said, I want to be there, and I'm not going to play the next season probably. <laughs> It was it was prem from the start from the start of Divstick. Yeah, it was the one that time. Uh, I'm pretty sure this team got promoted like two, three seasons ago, and then missed next season. Well, it's in the books now. You got the ETF to our sticker of approval. So, uh, wow! I was when I started that, I was just happy to get Div Four. I was like, oh my god, this is insane. But uh, I guess if you we play got, in another league, Jobo. Yeah, this me. is worth. The th- well, I, I did well for myself. I eventually got there. Anyway, I know the, but uh, some people have high hopes, I suppose. Anyway, asked, how about you? How are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. Ele- electric. I can feel the hype. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Video games are a big deal indeed. <laughs> you want a big competition. Do you even win prizes or, or stuff for, for winning high? I don't even know. No, it's the prizes, just pride. I was told that the there, was, there is no prize this season, oh. which made me immediately regret the three months of playing with this team. I'm out, boys. <laughs> You're just sand- <laughs> sandbagging. There will be pr- there will be prizes in Prem if you do well, though. I hope there's a prize for seventh place. <laughs> oh, no, really, we had a really fun season. Um, it was a really pleasure to play with these guys. Um, hopefully, we'll stay together. But Ast is probably going to go play for a really good team. Like who? We want names. I don't know. I don't know. We should ask him. Well, I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you want to leave them because they're not good Hildreth. enough. Yeah, Hildreth to is to carry you to the top of Prem. Yeah, Hildreth has planned this for you. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to pull it away from Hello Kitty Ninjas, even though you know they have won the game. I'm going to shine the light on the. On the other guy, Ombrak, top five rocket. Yeah. You put out quite a performance, especially towards the tail end of that last map. Getting quite hyped. Uh, how do you feel? Are you happy with your performance overall? Um, after, Give it a good go. Before, before the game, I thought if we lo- if we lose, I was, I was going to be disappointed. But actually, I'm pretty proud of what we did. Um, I think we were really bad. Uh, during like most of the half of the quarter, and then we were okay. I, I thought it was over. There was like four one, and I thought okay, let, let's let's just be stupid and go forward all the time, and it worked. And I believed, <laughs> and we failed. Yeah. But um, we failed by trying to to be aggressive. So I, I think it's okay. It's an okay way to to lose. So I'm I'm proud of the guys. So what what was that turning point? Where was the point where you're like, oh, hang on a sec, guys, I think we could actually do this. Maybe when Keizo spawn camp Cotton, um, <laughs> I, uh, on one ball, someone said, okay, it's okay, they're gonna be upset now, and um, we 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 scored three points, I guess. Can, can I just say, at that point, Cawthon was actually laughing. <laughs> and the rest of us might have been a little bit. 
Okay, so I'm not upset, but uh, I still work anyway. So Although that, we were still mad at him. Oh, on the other side of it, what what was the point where you guys, like Hello Kitty Ninjas, were scared that you know you might lose it? Was there a certain point? Was there a certain round where you're like, oh my god, they're actually going to do this? Do you guys want to take this? Oh. Yeah, Calton can take it. No, no. <laughs> oh, these guys don't know how to do interviews, man. All right, so, I'm going to direct you straight at Corfin then. Go on, Corfin. You're on the spot now. So, which point of the game I felt like we're going to win this? You're going to lose, actually. Like, uh, when Ombrak, when the no, top no. five were making the comeback, I had point did you believe feel like? in me. The whole game that we were gonna play. <laughs> you take never it. lost belief. You no. were like, no, nah, this shit is in the bag. I made a few mistakes, maybe. Myself. They were back capping you on mid, and it was like 4 4, and you were like, nah, guys, we've got this in the bag, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know with these guys, I can trust my life on their hands, and they will get it. What, what about you, Hildre? If you've seen a lot of like games passing your times, was there any point where you were like, my experience tells me that we might lose this, or we might come to a golden camp? Well, we, I always felt we were playing pretty well, and we, even if it went to a third map, I felt like we would win, cause, just because I feel like we were the, we are the better team, um, because we have asked. That's it, but, but top five Rocket, um, they really played well against us in the regular season. They beat us on one map, and in the, D, in the game that was DDoS, it was really close and tight. And even in even in this game, even though we like had a lead in Snake Water, we were comfortable in middles. Um, like they were just they just brought it back somehow. Like, well, I know we made a few bad choices, but you know, they managed to bring it back. So I got I got a lot of respect for Top Five Rocket. Um, it was a really good game to play. But yeah, I was still confident even if we went to a third map, we'd win unless Corfin threw again. I tried very hard. It didn't work. That's how so, you do so. interview, Corfin. <laughs> <laughs> Question yes. for Ast. Uh, Ast, you've actually turned into somewhat of a fan favourite or like a superstar, the scout role. It seems like everyone's singing your praises and uh, recognising your skill. Is it... Uh, what's your secret, man? What's uh, What have you been doing recently to kind of pick up the p pace? Or is, have you just been playing like this for years and it just took everyone this long to, to notice? Well, I haven't done anything special. I just play some video games, and that's it. Just plays the game, so no, no, like extreme uh, MG workouts before the season. Not like this is the season where I'm going to prove to people. And no, just... I just play the end. That's it. Would you use your 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 new fame to to do pet coaching now and sign weapons? <laughs> I don't think nobody wants to. Oh, you'd be surprised, man. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you'd be surprised. Well, now that you're a prem, a prem player now, Ast, uh, what's your aspirations for this next season on a personal performance level? Are you going to grind really hard, like uh, take this opportunity that's been given to you, maybe? Or are you just going to keep playing the video game, see if it, and how it goes, how it, is how it goes? Well, of course I want to play as high as possible and see how I can do there. Do you think you've got a lot more to give, or uh, is this you're just not sh uh, quite sure? Like, uh, can yeah, you play? I think I can improve even more if I have a chance to play against uh, better teams, not high teams, but actually prem teams. All right, uh, pulling it back to top five for a second, Ombrak. Sure, sure, you've lost this playoff game, but uh, there's still a lot of there's still a future out there for top five gaming. Have, have you got any ideas what you guys are gonna do now? Um, we're gonna take a break because it was a long season. We need to to rest to uh, uninstall this this fucking game, <laughs> and then we'll be back on the road for the next season, I believe. Um, maybe try uh, to aim for frame again. Just get back to... onto the horse. Yeah. Um. Because I, I think, like we were so close to go in prem, we touched the dream. So now that we touched it, we touched it. We want to live it, I believe. So we're gonna try again, of course. So um, this season has this season been very good to you? Has this been like, uh, oh, we're not gonna ever perform this well again, and uh, 
you know, maybe next season we can go, or is it like, uh, oh no, you're very confident that you could maybe even get to Prem from some sort of playoff or just repeat the same performance you've had this season and maybe win it? Um, before this game, I would have said we we're going to stay in high. Um, we had our biggest performance against HKN during the season. And I thought it was like, okay, that's our best. We can't do any, we can't do any better. But I think today's game showed that we, if we believe a bit more in, your, in ourselves, we, we can do it, I believe. We beat some Prem team this season, so why not do it again? So, if you were given the option to go into Prem, would you just take it, just go straight into there, or do you think you want to nestle yourself into high just a little bit longer? Uh, I, I don't think we're going to get the free spot in Prem like this, but if there's some qualifiers, of course we, we're in. And if not, uh, well, the, your, the aim would be to, to finally win this, this high tier and go Prem the season after next season. Hildreth, uh, a lot of people over the years of TF2, as like time has gone by, this people start saying, "Oh, uh, you know, people are getting you know, like seasons getting easier with every single iteration. Teams are just like players are get, uh, leaving, and the skill of TF2 is just dropping out slowly." And you've been playing this game for a long time. Is that the case, or uh, a top five just like risen the ranks, or is it just top five are playing like a high on easy mode or something like that, or? I can't really comment about when I started because I started in Div Six, so I don't uh, really know. Um, from when I last played Prem level, you know I don't, I mean. it doesn't feel that different. But I know I feel it feels like TF2 evolves over time. That the players that are coming up are probably better than some of the older players. Um, but you know, is it? It's, it's natural as good players leave the scene. Um, it takes a while for players to develop. It's a, it's an actually a discussion that people have a lot on the forum. I personally think um, the skill level um, stays the same generally, or or even improves as long when the meta game improves. Um, but when you lose like top team, um, that can make life that can destroy it. So I don't really know. You can't you can't really compare it. The main so thing is to keep playing. So uh, no one can take this away from Hello Kitty Ninjas or from Top Five, and not say like uh, well, hi. You can only beat who's in front of you, man. Okay. So uh, we've talked about uh, plans and goals for uh, Top Five, but what are the goals of Hello Kitty Ninjas now? Now that you've made Prem, is there uh, a, a goal next season, or? Uh, like just actively stay above water, or maybe you know, maybe we can make some sort of make waves in the next season. Yeah, you know, probably uh, compete for that fourth place spot. Or uh... I don't know if HKN is gonna stay better. Well, at least I'm not playing there. I don't know if they wanna continue without me. No, oh, you give yourself too much credit. <laughs> too much credit, man. This team is all about the core for me. Um, I think we've had a few discussions about playing next season, um, maybe bringing in um, an old scout on the roster. Perhaps I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do yet, so we'll have to wait and see. I think the team, I think the team wants to play, but um, the thing about our lineup is we're not the most active team. We sometimes we PCW two times a week at max. So do you we'll think have you're to gonna? See. Do you think you'll still make use of this prem spot that's been given to you? I think so. I think we'll give it a go. You know, some of these players want to try to see what they can do. I don't expect us to be doing what Dogs.tf have done, but you never know. Are you worried about a hijack rule coming in at any point? Like, do you think that, or is it just Ass that is leaving for your squad? Uh, I can't speak for anyone else, but I would. I would like to keep playing with these guys. Ah. Oh. Except for Corfans, kick that guy. I mean, who kill binds himself in the pause? <coughs> Unbelievable. And the whole new level right there. Alright. Alright. I think I'm satisfied, Twiggy. How about you? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done too. Well, any shout outs, guys? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pass it around the room. I'm just. I just want everyone to just scream out the feelings as soon as possible. 
take the floor, the, the floor's open. Any shout out? Well, um, shout out to TFTV, of course, um, to Top 5 Rocket, uh, biggest team ever, and uh, everyone who played so far. HKN, of course, for being so patient on the first game, like Gidos and stuff. And uh, hopefully we'll meet again next season. Yeah, I agree. Shout out to their top five rocket for some good games. And the DDoS was unfortunate, but you were very, very kind about it. Um, so big, big props to them. I'm, I'm going to shout out Polk and Kratos because Kratos never shouts me out, and then he says he does, and then he makes me watch a VOD to what to find the shout out, and he doesn't do it. <laughs> so, and uh, shout out to the rest of the team as well. It was a fun season. GG. Yeah, shout outs to both teams, HKN and Top Five Rocket. Been a nice season playing with you guys, and hopefully we will continue. Shout outs to Ayat King, Big Mac Boys. E cooping so tall and the fins you know shout outs to all that deserve one. Well, shout out to DJ Ango and Rusty. Yeah and Larva. Alright, I'm gonna give a big shout out to Twiggy right here, putting the cast on his back whilst my computer was pooping itself into a whole new dimension. I love you Twiggy. I was about to give a shout out to your computer. <laughs> yes, I am a bad man. I'm sorry. <laughs> my yeah, computer resembles my casting. <laughs> no, you're being too harsh with yourself. I have personal shout outs to to my team, to fucking Rita Esports, and to MG Pineapple Wolf, who hosts me a match, and that's about it. Alright, and I'm just going to squeeze in the last final shout out to John as well. Uh, being the camera, the unsung hero of the TF2 production. It's almost obligatory at this point, we just need a massive thing to saying like, thank you, John. Because in the end, if he wasn't here, this wouldn't be here. Thanks, uh, John. And again, thank, thanks to you guys uh, for tuning in. Uh, this has been Team Fortress TV. You've just watched Hello Kitty Ninjas versus Top 5 Rocket. Hello Kitty Ninjas do win out. Uh, across Badlands and Snake Water. Congratulations to them. Uh, tune in next time. See you there. Very good.